Racing into the straight with just over a furlong left to go. And it's I Don't Get It from Winding River up the rail. As they climb the hill inside the final 200 yards, it's I Don't Get It on the stand side, collared by Winding River over on the far side. And it's Winding River who's running down the long-time leader. I Don't Get It, the Flower Begley will be third. Racing into the straight with just over a furlong left to go. And it's I Don't Get It from Winding River up the rail. As they climb the hill inside the final 200 yards, it's I Don't Get It on the stand side, collared by Winding River over on the far side. And it's Winding River who's running down the long time leader. I Don't Get It, the Flower Begley will be third. Racing round the home turn, and it's Colton and Darrow Keefe swinging in three clear from Snugsborough Hall and then Clondor Hollow, racing inside the final furlong, and it's Colter out in front of Snugsborough Hall and Clondor Hollow. These three are clear of January Jets and Authorised Art, and up towards the finish, it's Colter driven out by Darrow Keefe to beat Clondor Hollow and crossing the line in third, Snugsborough Hall. Racing round the home turn, and it's Colter and Darrow Keefe swinging in three clear from Snugsborough Hall and then Clondor Hollow, racing inside the final furlong, and it's Colter out in front of Snugsborough Hall and Clondor Hollow. These three are clear of January Jets and Authorised Art, and up towards the finish, it's Colter, driven out by Darrow Keefe to beat Clondor Hollow and crossing the line in third, Snugsborough Hall. Within the centre in the red cap is Son of Mahler and driving in between them is Andy's Flame. Round them is My Mannequin Echo as they run off the turn and it's Seitner seen just headed by Andy's Flame, one off the rail. Then My Mannequin Echo and Son of Mahler racing inside the final hundred yards and it's Andy's Flame edging on from a railing, Seitner seen Andy's Flame has it from a Seitner seen. Dragon's Pass has probably got up for the third. Within the centre in the red cap is Son of Mahler and driving in between them is Andy's Flame. Round them is My Mannequin Echo as they run off the turn and it's Seitner seen just headed by Andy's Flame, one off the rail. Then My Mannequin Echo and Son of Mahler racing inside the final hundred yards and it's Andy's Flame edging on from a railing. Seitner seen, Andy's Flame has it from a Seitner seen. Dragon's Pass has probably got up for the third. Stage in Peru got it wrong and spades or trumps has swept by racing into the straight in the Randux Ulster National and it's spades or trumps and Mark McDonough clearing away from Agent Peru and then peaches and cream and up towards the finish spades or trumps rounds off a fantastic weekend for Cheltenham when Mark McDonough has run away with the Randux Ulster National Agent Peru second and peaches and cream and Amelino. Stage in Peru got it wrong and spades or trumps has swept by racing into the straight in the Randux Ulster National and it's Spades or Trumps and Mark McDonough clearing away from Agent Baru and then Peaches and Cream and up towards the finish Spades or Trumps rounds off a fantastic weekend for Cheltenham when Mark McDonough has run away with the Randux Ulster National Agent Baru second and Peaches and Cream and Amelino and they're well cleared of the remainder. And at the last, the leader is Magic C with a slightly reduced advantage turning into the straight to the final furlong. Howie Aoife whipped round the outside of different strokes, being followed by Call of the Loon up the hill to the final 200 yards. And Magic C is starting to tire. On the outside is Howie Aoife, the spread from rail to rail. Howie Aoife, right under us on the stand side, has come to pounce close home from Magic C. Different strokes, Call of the Loon, school day. When at the last, the leader is Magic C with a slightly reduced advantage turning into the straight to the final furlong Howie Aoife whipped round the outside of different strokes being followed by Call of the Loon up the hill to the final 200 yards and Magic C is starting to tire on the outside is Howie Aoife the spread from rail to rail Howie Aoife right under us on the stand side has come to pounce close home from Magic C different strokes Call of the Loon school day
but laying down a late challenge is Faith Loving. Faith Loving is the new leader, turning into the straight of the final furlong in the Borders Mill Sars Maiden Hunters Chase, and it's Faith Loving and Noel McParlin in front from Handy Heaton, who's trying to rally for Orden McGill. Then Michael's pick, who's getting a second win over on the far side for Timmy Love. It's Handy Heaton from Michael's pick on the stand side, Faith Loving, and it's Michael's pick on the inside has probably picked off Handy Heaton. But laying down a late challenge is Faith Loving. Faith Loving is the new leader, turning into the straight of the final furlong in the Borders Mill Sars Maiden Hunters Chase, and it's Faith Loving and Noel McParlin in front from Handy Heaton, who's trying to rally for Orden McGill. Then Michael's pick, who's getting a second win over on the far side for Timmy Love. It's Handy Heaton from Michael's pick on the stand side, Faith Loving, and it's Michael's pick on the inside has probably picked off Handy Heaton, and they're followed home by Faith Loving. Landrigs run a stinker as they swing into the straight to the final furlong. And there's no stopping Sir Jimmy Mack with a furlong left to go in the cosy roof bumper. It's Sir Jimmy Mack and Declan Lavery with a clear advantage over Wrexham and then every river and Tenzing and up towards the finish. It's Sir Jimmy Mack winning the final race in a procession in second place is Wrexham with coming again for the third Tenzing ahead of every river. Landrigs run a stinker as they swing into the straight to the final furlong. And there's no stopping Sir Jimmy Mack with a furlong left to go in the cosy roof bumper. It's Sir Jimmy Mack and Declan Lavery with a clear advantage over Wrexham and then every river and Tenzing and up towards the finish. It's Sir Jimmy Mack winning the final race in a procession in second place is Wrexham with coming again for the third Tenzing ahead of every river.